Hey guys, my name is Shy, and this is a Starseed energy transmission with some tarot cards as a compliment. <laughs> I want to start just by tossing out some key words, some key ideas here. The first one is the Earth Star Chakra, right? The Earth Star Chakra. Second one, the brown ray, the brown ray, the spiritual nature of the color brown. Dragons have something to do with this. I haven't been able to figure out how exactly, but they are, they are here. Comes to mind that I was born in the year of the brown earth dragon. Some of you also watching this, if you were born in 88 after the Lunar New Year, all the way till the first little bit of 89 before the Lunar New Year, that is the brown earth dragon. So as far as I can remember, the last few readings I have done, and I know they've been spaced out over quite some time, but there's been this huge focus on grounding, on beyond grounding, on trying to even just approach this radical new level of groundedness, of connecting with the earth, of actually encountering the earth and becoming one, like penetrating into the earth and becoming one with the earth. And this is multiple levels of this, right? Multiple, multiple levels of this. And this is so relevant for star seeds because <laughs> becoming fully human and fully enmeshing with the earth it seems impossible and a lot of the time even seems undesirable, seems painful, seems traumatizing, right? This is when that begins, or th th this is not the beginning of that. The, the, this is a, a culmination point of all of these grounding messages that we've been giving. Like this is the, the moment, whenever you receive this, this is absolutely a timeless message. This is when you really make make contact, I guess. It's almost like making contact with your earth self. And what comes along with this is a drastic shift in perspective. It's really interesting. It's like having finally descended into this earth energy. The feeling is actually finally getting your earth star chakra completely online, like actually clicking into the earth. Um, my current view of the earth star chakra is that it is at the center of the earth and that is, it's like the sub personal chakra. It is where you and the earth become one, right? It, it is where you and the earth become one. I used to always see it as like a crystal. And now I understand that that was because I was seeing it from seeing it from the star seed perspective, right? Seeing it from the higher perspective, seeing it with uh, like my higher vision, seeing everything as like crystalline and made of light and all of that. Now I am, and like, that's not wrong, right? That is one valid perspective. Now I am seeing it with earth eyes, right? I'm seeing it with earthed eyes and I'm seeing it as just glowing brown. Um, that's what this brown ray situation is. That's what this brown ray is. And it's so interesting to think of this shift in perspective because I've always really disliked um any like earth color i always hated the color yellow <laughs> um i hated orange i hated brown in any of those earth tones right and that's a fairly common thing with star seeds to dislike these colors because the star seeds tend to resonate more with like blue, indigo, violet, silver, right? Those kind of, um, you know, we call them higher vibrational colors. You know, I'd like to stay away from the hierarchy as much as possible because really this is a circle. 
And if I were to put brown, if I were to add brown in here, I would equate brown with the earth star chakra. I would also add brown outside of the rainbow, like, you know, yellow, orange, red, brown, right? And seeing brown is a truly, truly beautiful, beautiful and deeply spiritual color. Um, you know, just to illustrate how my perspective on this color brown has shifted so much in the, like, literally in the last month. So... And I've, I've already had this happen with the color yellow and orange and because I always hated those colors and over the last year or so I've really like come to understand how beautiful and spiritual and perfect and wonderful they are. And now I like to dress in orange and I love yellow and, and all of that. And it's really fascinating shift in perspective. Now the same thing is happening with brown. I have never owned any brown clothes. I never owned anything earth toned or even warm toned. I've always been like a super cool, cool bright colors, like cool blue type of colors. So anyway... All of this, all of this brown, I, I really understand that it is like this, this coming forward of this earth activation. Um, so a few things. In the past, when I have encountered brown in a spiritual context, I always understood it to be to indicate like infection, disease, sickness, and rot. Like seeing brown in someone's aura is normally understood to be a bad thing, right? That would normally mean like something's really wrong there. Um, and when I've encountered beings that have like, or, or when I've had like visions, right? D different experiences of seeing things at brown always indicated something bad to me, something wrong, something off. Um, that was until just recently when um, I was starting to warm up to the color brown. I was feeling this like brown energy come through and I thought it was very interesting. And then my husband was looking at me and he can see like more vividly than I can. Like he's, very, he's a very visual person, both um, physically <laughs> and psychically, right? So sometimes he sees auras um, like quite often. He sees interesting things when he looks at me and he said that he saw a version of myself pop out and wave at him and then she popped back in. And she had brown hair, you know, if you just clicked on this and you don't know me, I'm, I'm you know, blonde. Um, so, but this other version of me had brown hair. And she, he also said that she had this beautiful brown aura, just like radiating beautiful, beautiful, glowing, healthy, spiritual brown. And I thought that was so interesting. And then I started to be able to see her, right? I started to be able to see her. And this whole last month or two, maybe two months, I've been like, integrating this other version of myself and and she's all about the color brown she looks just like me right but she's got a really good tan and she has brown hair and this brown aura <laughs> and she's really like of the earth I actually keep seeing her like almost like she sleeps at night wrapped up in a in a water lily in water lily petals and then as the petals unfold in the morning she like wakes up and stretches out of the water lily and it's just been this whole like earthing vibe right this whole earthing vibe and it's all about our, our earth star chakras, like really clicking on and becoming like f actually fully present in the earth for the first time. And this allows our perspective to shift so dramatically, right? So dramatically, it allows us to perceive our own merit meta narratives with a new perspective. You know, cards on the table here, the nine of wands, right? We've been fatigued, we've been beaten, we've been battered, we've been exhausted, and yet we're still standing strong. But we might be wondering, is it time to throw in the towel or is it time to double down and commit for one more level of this? And I can see, you know, that we're going deeper one more time on this with this inner strength and this new perspective, right? The page of swords is the, the, the switch in perspective, the change in perspective. And that is coming from this new grounded, grounded, grounded earth perspective. And how your perspective is shifting, it's going to be different for everybody, right? Um, but it's like changing the way you perceive your own story. And that is the story of this life. But it's also like your entire soul's journey, right? So, and it can happen so fast. I had this click in yesterday. Uh, I had been like purging, emotionally purging for a few days. And it was kind of out of nowhere <laughs> it was really out of nowhere i had like no reason to be purging right like my life has been going along fantastically but i was suddenly found myself in an emotional purge so i knew this was you know spiritual work right and then it, it, it like the, the perspective shift happened it, like within a few minutes like a radical a radical rapid shift um and it was like lingering issues that i had 
I'm just going to throw out some feelings, right? Feelings of victimization, feelings of alienation, um, otherness, outsiderness, self-sacrifice, service, issues surrounding being seen, um, success, and work and leadership. <laughs> If you could somehow put all of that in a bag, right? So some, some, it's not like that. All of those words are going to hit for all of you, right? But you know, pick the ones that do, and maybe you have some extra ones, right? It's those type of themes as they relate to your human life, but also your greater starseed journey. Your perspective on those feelings shifting, shifting rapidly, seeing it from an entirely different narrative. Um, it's like looking at your soul's journey as a poem, you know. You know, or maybe a piece of art, right? What do you what do you like to interpret, right? Is it a movie? Is it a poem? Is it a piece of art? Is it is it a piece of music? You know, when you've read or seen or listened to a piece of art so many times, and then one day you just look at it from a new perspective, and you go, "Whoa, whoa!" It's I, <laughs> I have a completely new interpretation of this art. That that's how you can suddenly see your life differently, your entire soul's journey completely differently, and. is because you finally made it to earth, right? It's because you finally made it to earth and this earth provides you with this new perspective. And it's the feeling of finally clicking in with this long, strange process of grounding, right? This long, strange process of grounding. And I'm sure, you know, more messages about grounding are gonna be coming up, but, um, you know, for those of you watching this, when I post it in, in my linear time here, um, for me, so much of this has to do with the Jupiter in Taurus transit. I probably mentioned this before because um, my natal Jupiter is in Taurus. So this is my Jupiter return. And, you know, the Taurus is the earth energy. This is Jupiter representing higher spirituality coming down into the earth energy. And Jupiter is still in Taurus for many more months still, right? Many more months. So we're not quite done with this yet. And of course, this is going to come around in the future for all of you watching this in the future. But I do, I feel like after this, after this, like maybe the next video I make in a in a few weeks, whenever the next whenever I get to it, um, I mean it could be tomorrow, it could be a month from now. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna it's gonna be something different, something new, right? We're gonna be having shifting into something else. Five of wands, seven, sorry, seven of wands, seven of wands, and the Empress. Needed to pause to take a drink of my orange juice here. <laughs> There's this feeling of actually climbing up into your throne. The Seven of Wands is this feeling of people. It could be people, it could be thoughts, right? With the Seven of Wands, for me, because I don't really deal with a lot of people <laughs> in my life, and the people I do deal with, um, are typically on my vibe, right? So I don't really deal with this in terms of people that much, but I do deal with it in terms of my own thoughts, right? This feeling of all these people trying to drag you off your path or trying to tell you, you know, trying to drag you down, trying to compete with you, right? But you, you can also be experiencing this in your own mind, right? If you have a lot of negative inner talk and critical inner talk, that kind of stuff, that's putting, that's putting like, like rising above that in an entirely new level because we have this empress, we have the Empress, right? This is this is that Earth energy coming to complete fruition. Um, just what I was saying, right? Just what I was saying. This feeling like the Emperor or the Empress of your own life, right? Feeling like the Emperor or the Empress of your own life. We have more Earth energy coming through here. Full Moon in Virgo. You are good enough, right? You are good enough. You are good enough. <laughs> you are good enough to be the ruler, right? To be the royalty. You are good enough. All of this, this Earth energy, also, um, so that bag, that bag of emotions uh, I was talking about, I could have added into that feelings of you know any anything you struggle with in terms of low self-worth I'm um, like am I you know asking like am I good enough or what do I have to do to be good enough um I also feelings of like was my entire life a giant mistake like have I done nothing but make mistake after mistake after mistake right um from this 
earthed perspective, like from this brown ray type of glow, like in, in the earthen glow, okay, in the earthen glow, all of that, it, it's like you understand that those are completely the wrong questions, right? And they don't even make sense. And none of it is, a, it's all irrelevant. It, it's like finally understanding that all of that stuff about am I worthy? How do I be good enough? What do I have to do? How do I, like, how, what do I have to do? What do I have to do, right? How hard do I have to work? What should I do? Was that a mistake? What is the correct thing to do? What is the correct path? Was my entire life a mistake? All of those thoughts, they start to seem like ridiculous, right? And they start to seem like question. You start to understand that you shouldn't even be asking those questions in the first place. You shouldn't even be thinking those thoughts because, I mean, yeah, they're like, you know, they're bullshit that they can, that can come up in your mental body, but they're from the mental body. And they really like, the earth doesn't have anything to do with that. Right? Just think of animals, okay? Think, think of animals. Do you think your dog is worrying about whether he's good enough, <laughs> right? Like in, in, in order to exist, right? Like are the birds in, in flying in the sky, the fish swimming in the ocean, do they think these thoughts? No, it's completely ridiculous. It's completely ridiculous. So instead of looping, 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 looping the thoughts of, am I worthy? Was this all a mistake? What should I do? What should I have done? all of the all of that all of that it's understanding that you don't have to solve that you don't even have to entertain those questions and how you solve the pain associated with those thoughts and feelings is to literally just like you got to be done with it <laughs> right you got to be done with it you have to understand that that is like it's like sucking on a lemon right if it's too sour stop sucking on it like spit it out <laughs> right spit it out <laughs> you, you know because the empress she don't have time for that right she don't have time for that she is worthy she knows that she is the empress of her own life because she is innately worthy of it I'm hearing new foundation, new foundation, new foundation. So that next thing, right? When I was like, maybe next time I make a video, we're going to be able to get more beyond this whole grounding, 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 grounding thing. We have, it's like we've constructed a new platform, a new foundation. Oh, and it's interesting. Right, as I've been filming this, uh, they've been paving, repaving, right, the parking lot in my apartment complex. And I was just walking my dog and I found out that, oh, they've also been repaving a bunch of the roads around here. And I was like, well, that is so symbolic, right? I'm going through this whole thing of this earth star, brown ray, <laughs> like rec reclamation, right? And they're repaving all of the roads, right? That is literally like a fresh start for the ground, right? <laughs> so perfect so a new that's that's the new foundation new foundation that means new things can be built upon it walking away right walking away and that's number 27 walking away from something from the past a lot of us it's just walking away from those thoughts that have plagued us right those thoughts that have plagued us i don't i don't know why like why did we have those thoughts to begin with? With this brown ray energy and with us grounding right down into our fully calibrated earth star chakra, it's this switch in perspective that makes us realize, oh, w was I looking at this? Like, why, why was I looking at it this way, right? Looking at everything with the mind or looking at everything with the left brain, with the masculine approach, now it's look what would happen if you actually looked out at the world from the perspective of your body <laughs> that's the funny thing about the star seed experience right getting into the body and getting into the earth that's what changes everything And there's this element here of 
I'm sure you've experienced this many times. You know when you're trying to, you have some problem and you can't seem to solve it. And when you're trying to solve the problem from within the problem, you're just like working and laboring, working, 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 laboring, wondering, questioning, trying to figure out the answer. Most of the time you can't actually like solve it from within the problem. You have to like completely transcend the problem. Like, okay, so okay, the example that's coming to mind is um, think of, you know, Western medicine trying to cure all of these diseases. We have all of these resources and all of these, you know, highly talented medical researchers all trying to cure all of these diseases, cure all of these problems, and they're working the problems, working the problems, working, 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 working. It's so energy intensive, so resource intensive, and it's all spread out trying to solve all of these different problems. And yes, sometimes, you know, new treatments come out all the time. They're always making progress on curing or treating all of these different diseases. But <laughs> what would be a, what is an alternative approach there? What is the transcendent approach to drastically improving human health? right, would be, you know, perhaps it's longevity treatments, right, longevity treatments, some kind of treatment that improves human health on like a, I, you know, this is, I'm, I don't know anything about medicine, right, so this is like outside my area, but I know that there is re research being done into longevity treatments, and the idea is that if you could help provide some type of treatment that expanded extended the human lifespan not not at old age but in the age when we are young and healthy right if we could extend our health extend our youth right extend our health and extend our youth then a lot of things especially diseases that come about because of old age right like one of the biggest risk factors for cancer is just aging right so if we can extend health, right, extend youth and extend health, then a lot of this working through the smaller healthcare problems doesn't need to, it, it kind of be, it kind of starts to seem silly, right? It's like maybe we should be focusing on the bigger solution, the bigger problem, the bigger solution or the bigger problem. So it's that kind of shift in perspective. It's that kind of shift in perspective, looking at the, the bigger picture, the macro picture and getting you out of the small, getting you out of the smallness, getting you out of the details, because knowing that sometimes working, 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 working on all of the small little details is never really going to get you anywhere. You got to transcend and get into this bigger picture. And it's interesting because we often think of, this is where like, you know, the, the hierarchical language of English and the hierarchical thinking of our left brains kind of runs us into trouble here because transcendence feels like a, a rising above, but this brown ray and earth star chakra and even just the earth experience itself, itself feels like below, right? It's a depth experience. But I mean, really in my mind, right, transcendence and rising above and the transcendence of going into the depths it's basically, it, it, you know, that can be the same thing. It's the same vibe here. It's the same vibe here. Ooh, we got storm warning. This tornado. I wonder what this is about. Second chakra. That's the sacral chakra. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> For some of you, this is going to play out in um, like sacral chakra themes, right? Some of you, you could be having like a sexual awakening, right? Whatever that means for you, some kind of sexual awakening. Um, th that is such a broad topic. I don't even really know how to approach that. But I don't know. I don't know if some of you... If you've been single for a long time, you could be, you know, coming into a partnership. If you have been unsatisfied with your sex life, that could be changing. If you've found that you can never really get yourself into the mood the way you would like to, that could be changing. It's something to come up and shake up your sacral chakra, right? And this, of course, this doesn't have to be a sexual thing, but it really easily could be. 
it could also just play out in terms of your self-expression, right? Wanting to dress in a different way, wanting to express yourself in your body in a different way, taking up dance, taking up a martial art, right? Anything that helps you connect with your body and help you express yourself. Um, really, it's a, it's like a huge sacral chakra activation. And it could be, this could actually be quite, it could be almost an overwhelming, <laughs> an almost overwhelming sacral chakra activation. So that'll play out however that's going to play out for you. Wow, I don't recall ever seeing this card before. Release, release. So, <laughs> guys, I mean, it's just, it's really funny. Sometimes you got to read the cards literally, right? Like, this is sexual release for some people. <laughs> if somebody's been frustrated, right? If somebody's been unsatisfied, that's, <laughs> it's going to change. That's going to change. But look at this beautiful, look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card, right? The red with kind of this brown and this green. This is so earthy. This is so earthy. This is what I'm talking about. And I don't remember what this card, I don't remember even seeing this before. So let me read this. That'll be a good way to close because the construction outside, I don't know if you can hear that, but it is starting back up again. They're paving, paving the, the ground, right? Autumn light autumn light the cooler days and change of color in the leaves mark the seasonal change from summer to autumn the bracing wind wildly flings the red orange and yellow leaves from the trees as they spiral to the dampened dark earth lingering sunshine filters through the canopy of vividly colored leaves creating an autumnal glow that's what i'm talking about guys the brown ray it's this autumnal glow okay in the great cycle of life, fall is the time of letting go. Just as spring is the time of new birth and summer is the time of expansion and growth, fall is the time of the harvest. It is the time to begin the inward journey into the restor restor restoring and renewing season of winter. When you receive this card, it is time to let go and surrender. Let go of situations, people, and objects that do not serve you. Let go of old, outmoded, self-limiting beliefs that drag you down, right? Walking away. <laughs> this is a time of stripping away superficial distractions until <laughs> the distractions of wondering if you're good enough, right? This is a time of stripping away superficial distractions until you reach who you are at your core, Yes. If you're holding on to the old, it is difficult for anything new to come into your life. Begin to clear your home and living environments of clutter. If you don't love it or use it, it is probably clutter. Clear it out of your space. It is time for a detox. To get ready for the new, you must release the old. I think a lot of you have already been in that releasing space, in that releasing phase. Um, so that might be an energy that, you know, is right now resolving for you. Some of you might still be into, in, into that, right? Just getting started on the purge. I always feel like with these readings, especially these timeless starseed readings, um, there's always a spectrum. All of us, when we, we tune into the readings, some of us are kind of just, just kind of closing this energy out now. And for some of you, you're, you're kind of more in the middle and some of you, it's just kind of ushering into this so it's like wave 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 right so you will know what point in the waves you're at with this I was just listening to see if there was anything else, but I think that is it. So happy earthing, guys. Sending you so much love and light. I'll talk to you later. Bye.